Well, this week, the University of Texas released a new podcast exploring the ins and outs of artificial intelligence. It's part of the school's year of AI. KXAN's Eric Hendrickson spoke with scientists attempting to use AI to build a brighter future, getting a better understanding of what the technology is capable of. A space once used to train athletes. Now giving robots and artificial intelligence a workout. This is a mock apartment, which is for these general purpose service tasks. Professor Peter Stone is the director of Texas Robotics, a University of Texas initiative uniting robotics research and education across campus. One of the tasks is for the robot to be able to take the, the bowl and put it on the table and pour some cereal into the bowl. Robots from this home bot to this four-legged creation rely on artificial intelligence to complete a variety of tasks. The, the goal is to exhibit intelligent behaviors, whether or not it's doing it the same way that, that people do it. According to Professor Stone, AI comes in a lot of varieties. Things like ChatGPT are trained on data from the internet, using it to respond to a question or prompt. Other AI are exposed to experiences, sort of like putting a child in a playpen. One of the sort of tongue-in-cheek ways of defining artificial intelligence is, is that it's the, uh, the practice of trying to get computers to do the things they can't do yet. But also things we can't do. You can have AI systems that can understand hundreds of languages and say that back to you in any other of those hundreds of, hundreds of languages. Austin-based Kung Fu AI specializes in helping businesses use the emerging technology. It's such early days in artificial intelligence and so few companies have done anything meaningful with it that it's actually pretty astounding how much opportunity there is. Co-founder Ron Green says that businesses with AI can stop fraud, optimize trades, and reduce costs through automation. Where we find you have the biggest impact is when you can use it to augment humans. Don't use it to replace humans, use it to make them more powerful or more capable. Which brings us back to the gym. In order for this robot to service at home, it must first get in its reps and slowly, like an athlete, develop new skills. And is it all about detecting where the items are, communicating where those items are? It's kind of a, it's just silly. Yeah, it's, there's it's more perception, pieces. decision making, and action still. Okay. That's true of all the robots, but now it's not just moving, it's also manipulating. Dr. Stone compares the introduction of AI to the arrival of cars. While cars come with many risks, including accidents and pollution, there are countless benefits. Artificial intelligence is no different. There's, there are some risks, there's things that, that may go wrong. On the other hand, the, the beneficial possibilities are enormous. The world at large will need to decide. Will we sit around and ignore the possibilities? Or will we decide to hit the gym? In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.